In the last 12 months, Panasonic have released three Micro Four Thirds cameras. There was the G1 back in November last year, the GH1 earlier this year, and now the GF1 Micro Four Thirds camera. Now, unlike the previous two models, which were more akin to a modern digital SLR style with the large grip on the side there and the viewfinder, the GF1 is more like a rangefinder type design, similar to Olympus's Micro Four Thirds camera, the EP1. Just like that camera, it doesn't have an integrated viewfinder, so you have to rely on the three inch LCD screen here. But you can connect an external viewfinder to the top here. Unlike the EP1, the GF1 does have an integrated flash. As you can hear, it's quite a quick camera in burst mode. And the LCD is very clear, even in bright lights, and the colors are very accurate in the shots that are taken. Now it has a 12 megapixel sensor, and it also has Panasonic's latest face recognition technology. So that means it can recognize up to six faces and prioritize the exposure settings when those recognized faces are in a group. Uh, so you can take up to three photos of a person for the camera to learn to recognize that person, and then in a the shot they'll stand out well. It features a high definition video mode and files are saved in AVC HD. It's not full HD, it's 720p. And unlike the GH1, it doesn't have the external mic socket, so you've got to rely on the camera's internal mic. Now the camera's going to be launching in the UK in September, October this year. It's available in red, white, black and silver colours here, although I'm not sure if all four colours will be available in the UK. Uh, Panasonic has also launched the 20mm pancake lens to go with the camera, taking the amount of lenses compatible with this series of cameras up to five from Panasonic and a few from Olympus as well, which should also fit this camera. Okay, that is the Panasonic DMC GF1. Uh, there are lots more video camera reviews with full test results on our website at www.witch.co.uk.